the Chinese case is really unique. Um, again, the whole world faced uh, the imminent threat, which was real, of uh, rapid population growth in the 1960s and 1970s. And uh, growth rate was, world population growth rate was at 2% or over 2% per year. And China was having a growth rate over 2% per year. And that meant the population would double every 30 some years. So, um, but the Chinese case is unique because you have all, a lot of countries face the same uh, population, uh, rapid population growth, but China was the only one that uh, came out with ex extreme policy that undermined um, its own families, the, the families in China, that it was uh, to require um, the majority of Chinese couples to have only one child per family for one generation. Uh, the policy existed for 35 years. So, but the decision now we look, go back to look at why they did this. Uh, I think partly was, uh, uh, the lack of understanding of uh, the dynamics of population change. Uh, that was, uh, I think people feared that unless you have this strong control, uh, population was going to grow uh, indefinitely. And uh, they did not anticipate what the world is going through now, which is fertility decline. And uh, also uh, they uh, launched the policy after uh, fertility in China was already more than halved in the 1970s before the one child policy. So when they launched the policy, fertility level was not much higher than the replacement level. And that was a political uh, decision. So I think if the first part of the reason was really a uh, lack of understanding of global demographic change, a lot of societies had the same issue. They didn't know fertility was going to decline uh, to very low. Uh, but in the Chinese case, in the late 1970s, after China's disastrous cultural revolution for 10 years, uh, the death of Mao Zedong in 1976, the leaders really set uh, their fate on increased capita uh, standard of living per capita income. So controlling population in a way was to reduce the denominator uh, who will be sharing uh, the fruits of economic growth. So we're talking about a per capita income. So it was a very simplistic and uh, political decision to control population growth uh, to almost to the extreme, right? And by doing that um, for 35 years, uh, now China is really uh, suffering from a, what are called a double whammy, right? So in addition to the, uh, the normal of fertility decline that would come with uh, increase in standard of living and uh, increasing education, increasing stand, uh, in uh, urbanization, you know, as it happened everywhere in the world, uh, China is also now start to be paying for the tremendous cost of uh, having so many families with only one child. And then also at societal level, it's aging uh, much faster than uh, many other societies.